Okay, today's setup guide, I'm going to get you up and running with the very awesome multi Sega emulator, which is Demule. So in this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to configure your controllers, take a look at video settings, how to add your games into the Demule folders, and generally set up directories to get you up and running with this really awesome multi Sega emulator. So if you fancy some arcade action today, check out this video. <laughs> Okay, before I start today's setup guide for Daniel for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on retro emulation content that I release every day. Also helps my channel out a great deal. So this is one standalone emulator I've been meaning to do for a very long time now when I've just got around to deal with it as you're watching this literally. Uh, so Daniel then, it's going to be a multi-emulator for Sega systems. Uh, so it's going to emulate the Sega Dreamcast, uh, Sega Naomi 1 and 2, a Thomas Wave and the Sega Hukuru as well as cover other systems such as Cave so it's a multi-purpose arcade emulator so of course for Sega Dreamcast I always got to recommend to use the other emulator for that exclusive for Sega Dreamcast which is Redream you can check that setup tutorial in my playlists but anyways we're getting on with Daniel and what we're gonna do is download the latest version of this from the official Daniel website so we're gonna go to downloads and the latest build of this as I'm recording this video is 0.7 and it's build 280418 it's a very small download so let's just download that for now and if you're using a browser like I am you might get insecure download blocked you want to keep this there's nothing wrong with it it's not infected with viruses it's very trusted and it's a widely used emulator so you're going to download this and it's going to come in a folder a zip folder if we just open this what I'm going to suggest doing is just making a dedicated folder to put all your Daimyo stuff in. So on your desktop or wherever you like, just create a new folder. So right click folder and I'm going to call this folder Daimyo. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to just extract all of those contents into that download directly into that Daimyo folder I've just created. So everything is now inside of there. Next thing we do want to take a look at is the games. So like we know at this point, Daimyo is going to support several different Sega systems. Now I've got a mixture here of different systems such as Atomis Wave, Cave, Hakuru and so on. Uh, you're going to find that some of these systems are going to be in CHD. Uh, as you can see here, this is .CHD. And some of them are going to download such as Atomis Wave games in .zip. Uh, some of these systems are going to require both, such as a zip plus a CHD to go with it. If you don't have both, then it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do then is actually just drag that games folder into Daimyo. And it's a lot easier actually if you put all your games together. And you're going to see why in a minute. So if we open up Daimyo now. So we got a few folders in here, plugins, NVRAM and several different files. Let's just open up Daimyo. So plugins not configured. And as you can see, as I just opened that, it's created us some new folders just here. But what we're gonna do for now is just press okay on this little pop-up. Now, the first thing we need to do once we enter into this emulator is just configure some paths. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to ROMs in BIOSes paths. Now, what I was just saying about putting all your games together is that when this searches for games it's literally going to look just in the one path only so we're going to go to add and from add we then need to go to where the games are located so they're going to be on my desktop and from here i've got my demo folder so if i just drop this down by left clicking what i'm going to do is just left click on games leave this drop down as it is as long as that folder where your games are is highlighted just go to ok now, the next path just here are for your plugins. Now, by default, this has already done this for me. So all I need to do now is actually just go to OK. And here we go. So this is Daimyo. So it doesn't look spectacular, but it's how it runs the games, which is obviously the main point of this video. So what we're going to do first is just test out a game. So to open up a game, we're going to go to File. 
And then here we go. So we got Run Dreamcast, Run Naomi, Atomis, Wave Akuru, and Kaven. I forgot to mention this also supports Gelco as well, which is another arcade uh, system. So Dreamcast, I'm not going to bother with because we got Redream for that. And Redream is just a very spectacular Sega Dreamcast emulator. What I'm going to do is go down to Run Hakuru. And I'm just going to boot up one of my Hakuru games. So I'm going to select Star Wars. I can either double left click on this game to start it. Or I can left click on it once and go to OK. And here we go. So it's booting up. And everything appears to be running fine. We've also got a frames per second counter at the top, so it's running at quite good speed. Okay, so as we can see, that's running fine. So next thing we're going to want to do is actually configure controllers. As default, it's not going to detect your controllers, even if you've got them connected to your computer. So if we open up the Damio executable again, double left click. This time we're going to go to config at the top and from config, you can then go back to controls. Now you've got two sections here. Uh, you've got Dreamcast, and as we know at this point, I'm not covering Dreamcast on here. There really is no point. Uh, the other systems, you're going to need to go to arcade section. Uh, there's four different joy ports or joysticks to configure potentially. I'm going to just go with joy one, obviously representing joystick one. And we can map this out. So I'm using a Google Stadia controller. If I left click on the up button just here, I can then press up on my D-pad. And so for down and left and right on my D-pad. So we got analog next. Now I'm going to map this out from my left analog stick. So again, just left click on each one of these buttons. And as you can see, as I'm doing this, it's now mapping them out. And for analog two, I'm going to use my right analog stick to map this one out. Pretty simple stuff in quite straight to the point. Now, the next things we need to look at is coin. So obviously for the arcade side of things, we need to emulate a coin dropping into the machine as it were. So I'm going to press on coin and I'm going to press the equivalent of a traditional select button in order to map that out. Now for start, I'm also going to press start button. I don't have a start button and not many modern controllers do have start buttons anymore. So the equivalent on my Google Stadia controller for that. And we've also got several push buttons here. So the push buttons are going to be your action buttons. So for push one, I'm going to press on my A button. Push two, X. Push three, Y. Push four, B. And then most controllers these days comes with about four different trigger buttons. So obviously just map these out and just map out as many as you can really. And once you're finished with this, just press OK. And that's all there is to it. We don't need to save it. If we shut down Damiel and open it back up again, these settings are going to be saved. We've also got global hotkeys just here. So if you're in the middle of a game, you can actually manually save it. We can give this a button too. So if I left click on save state, I'm going to press one, for example, on my keyboard. So whilst I'm in game, if I press one, it's then going to save a file. And I can then go to load in I'm going to map this out as the number two on my keyboard. So we're going to press OK. Next thing we're going to look at is video settings. As we can see, this is in a window mode at the moment. We can change this by going to config video. And from video, we can change the window resolution. Uh, by default, it's on 640 by 480. We can actually put this onto any resolution we got provided your screen supports it. I'm actually going to leave this to 640 by 480 for this. We also got aspect ratio. So if you're not aware, aspect ratios are the different sizes of your game. So for example, four by three is going to be with the black bars on the side. 16 by nine is going to be almost a stretch widescreen image. And then you've got stretch. So you can experiment with these. I also suggest putting V-Sync on, especially for 3D games. Uh, V-Sync by enabling this is going to take away screen tear. We've also got start in full screen, which I'm going to turn on. And we can also rotate how the game looks. So say for example, if you're playing a vertical game, a shoot em up game, then you can change the rotation of the game just here. Now, if I go to OK, and if I boot up my game again, so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go and run the Hukuru game again, which is obviously going to be Star Wars.
And yeah, that's working fine. So this time I'm going to open up a different system. I'm going to use Run Naomi. Now my controller is already set up, like I say, and we're going to open up a different game this time. So we're going to go for Capcom versus SNK. And we can double left click. And as we can see, that game's running perfectly again. So we're going to go back to Daymule and just test out some more systems. Let me just mention, if you're having issues with video or seeing any games at all, if you go to Config at the top, just go down to Plugins and Paths. Under Video Plugin, it's currently on GPU DirectX 11. If you drop this down, you'll have GPU DX11 all. So give that one a go. And if you're having any issues with your sound, uh, sound plugin, there's only one there. You'll have to look for yourself online for sound plugins, which is going to match your particular system for this. So if we go back to Daimyo, uh, this time I'm going to open up a Galco game, just see if this is going to work. So uh, one of the good games for this particular arcade system is ATV Track. So sometimes when you open up a game, you might get a pop-up which says something like this, not configured. So what this is saying is that we need to go back into this little section which is just opened up for me and we need to mess around with some video settings for this. So I'm going to put this to 16 by 9 Windows resolution I'm going to put to 1080p. I'm going to go to VSync and enable that. And internal resolution, you can bump this up to six times, say, but if you've got a slow computer, a potato computer, then be very modest. Internal resolution, higher up you go with this, the more stress it's going to put on your hardware. I'm going to just put this to two times. And if I go to OK,
And so that system's working too. Now you might hear in that particular game the sound didn't sound right. So again, you just need to find really uh, different sound plugins which is going to support this. And finally, we're going to just go to open again. And this time I'm going to end this off by opening up a cave game. Uh, cave games are superb for bullet hell shooting fans. So one of the best games in my opinion for this system is going to be Death Smiles. And I'm also going to mention too that you need to understand that Damiel doesn't actually support every single game that it supports. So in that case, you will have to check out compatibility and what games run fine. The videos, the games I'm showing you today obviously work fine because I use a compatibility list. And that's it for today's day meal setup guys so like i said at the start of the video if you like what you see today hit notifications and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and TikTok. but until next time stay retro <laughs>